Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights between Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. Mike Tyson, so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's... Muhammad Ali's making his way to the ring right now. Boy, and he's not bashful at all, is he? Look at him, confidently making his way down for this contest. at all times. Let's touch them up. First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. A well-placed left hand up top. Hits him in the mug with the right. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. It's a mighty list of power punchers that Muhammad Ali has continually faced. You got Joe Frazier on there. You got George Foreman on there. And tonight, now this power puncher opposite him. Well, you have two problems with that power. Two of them when you face Ali. One is, how do you land it? You have to find the perfect spot. Maybe catch him, pull him back with his hands down. You know, maybe time him as he's throwing a jab. But very difficult to do. And then the second problem. You have a guy that you're hitting that has a great chin. Good right hand. Halfway through round number one. Big left hand from Iron Mike. A crushing two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. That's a huge left hand from Muhammad Ali. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. A good block by Mike Tyson. Keep it going. A well-timed right hand by Mike Tyson. at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Two jabs, two jabs. Every time you throw that jab, I want to see you land that overhand, all right? Don't go straight in. Keep a little face first. I don't want to see you slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range and jab, jab, right, okay? Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that. Here we go. Round two is underway. Now he ties up there. Two good jabs by Mike Tyson. What a crushing blow up top he just landed. That's why you don't pull straight back. Great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Muhammad Ali. What is the formula for potentially defeating a prime Mike Tyson? Stand up to him. 
Same formula when you were a kid and you went in the schoolyard with that bully. When he goes after you, don't run away from him. Stand right up to him. Do not submit. He cannot deal with resistance. He cannot deal with somebody saying, okay, I'm going to actually make you fight. Halfway through round number two. Good block by Muhammad Ali. Shot to the head with that right hand. Uh, sending more than one at him now. The combo to the head. Not able to land the head shot. Nice strike after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Ten seconds to go in this round. Get out of there. You got to see that coming, champ. Let's go. You got to see that. Nice work on the outside. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. There you go. Now listen. I want you to pick his jabs. When he throws the jab, parry it away and you'll catch him, okay? You got that? It's going to happen. And round number three is underway. something for him himself and it's a left hand his opponent wanted the body he wouldn't give it to him Tyson's showing that he's got some defense of his own he got away from that punch Ali blocks it. Double jab by Mike Tyson. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Off the target by Muhammad Ali. And Tyson with a block punch. This is really solid defense by Mike Tyson. You see how he has his arms up in that peekaboo position, but by doing so, he's not allowing any of his opponent's punches to get in. Tyson's fully committed to utilizing the jab, and I think it's working out well for him early on. Well, it is. It's kind of like, you know, sending static out there. You, you want to scramble somebody's radio signal. You know, that's what the jab does. It scrambles your radio signal, or at least in boxing terms, it throws the other guy's rhythm off. Come on, punch, 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 that's it. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. And that does it for this round. That's it. Relax. Just like that, all right? Another round. Just Listen, I don't want to see you against the ropes. As soon as you feel them ropes, move away. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Now come up, champ. Come up. Start of round number four. Mike Tyson's accuracy has really carried this fight so far. He's up three rounds to zip on your scorecard. Yeah, and again, it's because of what you just touched on. He's been a sharpshooter all nice night long. Nice work, nice work. How about that left hand? Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. 
Ali's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Right hand downstairs. Very nice work with the double jab up top. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Halfway through round number four. Comes right back at him with a left hand. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Look at that combination by Mike Tyson. Good job. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Ali's left now getting into the mix. Little double jab to the head. That's it, just like that. A clean, crisp right hand by Muhammad Ali. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Final 10 seconds. That could set up things to come there, that jab, by Mike Tyson. Nice work, King. Good job there, Brad. Real nice. Keep circling. Just don't stand in front of him. Keep circling now, champ. I don't know what to say. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work out of it. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Ali's been able to hit that target with that straight punch consistently all night long. Yeah, and he's gotten a little bit of help because his opponent starts to leap with those wide shots and he steps right inside him, right into the eye of the score. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Mike Tyson's doing well sticking to a game plan on the outside. Ali's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. That straight right unable to connect. Move your head, move your head. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Wow, what a right hand from Muhammad Ali. He missed with that headshot. Oh, what a power punch by Muhammad Ali. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. He's jumping all over him now. Tyson's nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Good, solid right hand by Muhammad Ali. And now he's targeting upstairs. And this round comes to an end. In between rounds here, Ali's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Choose the good one. fighting his fight. You're fighting on the inside with this guy. Now I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. Come on now, you gotta pick up the speed, all right? You gotta pick up the pace, pick up the speed. Here we are getting ready for the second half of this fight as we've reached the sixth round. Tyson's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the features. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but 
he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. To the head he goes with a left hand. Right to the head with that right. Come on, good job. Good wow, job. look at that trading shots. Iron Mike Tyson lands a big right hand. Ali's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. Do that again. That looked good. Do that one more time. A precise hook by Tyson he showed us. Tyson's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, man. Goes up top with the right hand. Stay on the outside. Ali's hurt by a big shot. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. Oh! And he is down. He is down for the first time tonight. Ali's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Keep moving your head. Come on, keep moving. Tyson's always been thought of as a very well-rounded fighter. Tonight we are seeing one specific part of his game that's dominating, and that is precise, accurate, clean, and effective punching. Yeah, and I would argue that you've seen in another part, you've seen his intellect, you've seen how smart he is, because everything is designed to land. He's placing shots beautifully. Yes, breathe now. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Start of a new round, and I give credit to his corner. Ali's quartermen did a really good job, after a round in which their fighter was knocked down, of just being calm and cool. The way they're supposed to be. You know, we always talk about the fighter having to be calm, and the experience that a fighter has. Well, that corner has plenty of experience. They just showed it. Tyson's a brawler, right, Teddy? Yeah, exactly. Is that the style that you think is going to carry him through? Because it's working out so far. Yeah, if he can keep it going this way, you know, he's going to be happy. He wants to keep his opponent in this kind of mindset. Right now, he's got his opponent angry. I know that sounds funny, but he wants to keep him angry because he's not thinking. He's fighting his fight. Well off the mark by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's doing a good job tonight on the outside. He's able to score from the outside, keeping a safe distance away from his opponent. At the halfway point of round seven. Well targeted double jab by Mike Tyson. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Muhammad Ali. Good looking right hand after he got hit. And round seven comes to an end. He ain't been punched with your kind of power. Let's make sure we make him feel it. We want to see hooks to the body and hooks to the head, all right? Hooks to the body and to the head. Now, don't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. 
keep your distance, all right? All right, your jab works good when you go. Teddy's scorecard shows that he's in complete command. Tyson's been opening up wounds against his opponent all night long. He's been using that jab, and that jab, as you said, has been swelling up his opponent. Now you have to wonder if that corner is not thinking about stopping him. Well-placed right hands from both men. Ali's showing you a little defensive skill there. I will move away from that punch. Tyson's making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you're, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy, you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Tyson's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Mike Tyson. He gets hit, but he gives Keep it right back. Combination to the head. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. A little head hunting with the right. And we come to the end of the round. Tyson's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecard. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. This is yours. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Just keep throwing punches. So, he's tied. You know, he looks good. He looks ready to go. We'll see what he can offer up in this round. Muhammad Ali blocks that punch. Little head knocking with that right hand. Ali's now feeling the effects, Teddy, of having his opponent punch right through that guard. Well, he should feel the effects. I mean, look, so... Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? This fight is over. Ali's unable to get up and continue on. By way of knockouts, your A showcase of power punching by Mike.